guys with Life with Mimi on the Move. Thank you for tuning in and joining the family. Um, I wanted to give some words of encouragement to someone out there. Um, just about a few weeks ago, I sowed a seed to my church. And this, when I sowed the seed, it was a very a general seed sowing. And I just asked the Lord to open some major doors for me. So that was a Thursday that I sowed my seed. And about uh, the next following week, you know, I'm going, I'm doing my daily routine. And the next Thursday after I sold my seed, I was laid off. A lot of people would have panicked because what I sold wasn't a few, tw you know, a hundred dollars. It, it was a, it, it was a significant amount that a lot of people could have probably paid their bills with. But I sold that seed with faith. So I did not wither, I did not shake, I, it, it didn't break me because I sowed a seed and a week later I lost my job. It did not at all. But what I did was I leaned on God. I said, God, when I sowed this seed, I asked for a breakthrough. I'm not understanding what's going on, but I know it will make sense in due time. So I reached back out to one of my managers that I've worked with. Um, and I, and one thing I do like to do is build great rapport with people. So I reached out to him and he told me, you know, send me a resume. I'm going to put a word in for you, so forth. Sometimes when people say that, you know, they really don't. But I was believing. So the next following Thursday, after I was laid off, I got a call that... I have an interview so I went in and the interview <laughs> went so smooth that I felt as if I knew the person that was interviewing me the next following day the gentleman that I interviewed with said I'm overqualified so he paired me over to a, another um, let me say another department the person called me, said, look, I want you to come in. I heard so many great things about you. You pretty much have the job, but come in and see if you like the atmosphere. Out there and you're, you're pretty much like in a tight place and you wanna do something for God, but you're thinking, oh my goodness, I have bills to pay and I have debt to pay and you're not paying your tithes. Let me tell you something. Tithes, number one, belong to God, but two, if you're sowing a seed, sow something so sacrificial that you know God has to answer that prayer. He has to. I could have broke down knowing, oh my goodness, I just gave this amount of money. This could have went towards this bill, that bill. Not knowing that a week later, something was going to happen. But my something to me he said you were too comfortable where you were at and what you just did for the church something better with more pay is going to locate you and sweetie it located me do something for god and, and allow him to locate you with the blessings he has with your name on it okay 2020 2020 should is a year and I keep saying this is a year of revelation but tap into what you need to do on this earth now